to conduct or to do field sobriety for me tonight, ma'am? With V2K hitting me in the left side of my brain of a stimuli. I'm sorry? Satellite terrorism here in America when you're supposed to govern behavior with citations. You dropped your, you you dropped your right fig newtons. That I want. Well, maybe that's because your hands go numb when this is one of the signs of V2K. My do you mind just taking your hands body. off the knife for me that's in your pocket? No. Illuminati bull crap. I'm not in the Illuminati. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. She you said that it was alright for her, her to pull a knife out on police officers Listen, also. Because she no, tried to. No, no. See? Alive. You're entitled to your opinion. You have a camera on your chest. So if you're going to sit there and talk like that, let the observer observe. An off-duty fish and wildlife officer was working a detail near the Howard Franklin Bridge when a road worker approached him, advising him that there was a lady driving a scooter erratically. It, it's speaking all crazy. Currently, I'm off duty. I'll talk to you right now. That's I don't fine. know that. All right, that's fine. How you doing? I trust no one. So, guys, just Period, give me an uh, understanding. The reason I pulled her over today is because she was flagging down the construction so what's workers, your question? asking them to like honk her horn for them. Okay. Um, she was also driving her moped at a slow rate of speed. Okay. Only tops out, it says at 50, so I'm assuming it's not going to be... Ma'am, stay seated well. for me. Stay there. So this is her driver's license. Okay. How you doing? No. What What was your I'm name? i you know that I know the law. All right, Mr. I'm Officer Rodriguez. How are you? Yep. I am... Hi, hey. Officer Rodriguez. I'm hungry. I You're hungry. I talk to you. I have civil rights and liberties. There's no reason to be harassed okay. by society. And you're looking at me like this right now. So please keep your seven foot perimeter. Okay. Are and you I having some Fig Newtons? You. I would like to, but you're making me feel uncomfortable. Okay. Okay. Yes. Where are you coming from tonight, ma'am? Can you please back up a little bit and I'll answer your question? Sure. Is that okay. Are you comfortable there? Yes, I'm coming from my residence. Yeah. And where is that at? Um, um, I've been uh, in St. Pete. Okay, where, like, where are you coming from tonight? Your house? It sucks there. Why? That's why I am like this right now, riding the Tampa Park. I signed a lease with this guy. Uh huh. And he, um, ever since I won't have sex with him now, or kiss him, or anything. He treats me really bad. Okay. And number one, they're all adulterers. They all like sex type stuff. Utilizing Lancaster. Create Chivas. Number three, I want the hell out of there, but I have my lease just in case. Okay, I see what you're saying. Uh, you know, yes, my point is, is I simply was just trying to go to Tampa. Where were you, where were you going to in Tampa? I was going to Mons Venus. To see what a club is like to strip or whatever, but to see what it's like because I'm miserable and I'm celibate. And because of what's going on at where I'm at right now and everything, it's causing me so much stress. Well, Miss Natasha, I don't want you to get stressed out. Listen, we just want to make it sure is. you're okay. Oh, it's caused me, he said he's gonna help me, dude. And yeah, we're, we're here to help you. And every time I've walked away from a club, so let me tell you this. Okay. I was gonna say, fuck it, excuse my language, I don't cuss. What it's we're right. gonna do is drink our water and let you continue your job. Okay, all right, so ma'am, let us let me let me do my job real quick. When's the last time you had any type of alcohol or... I don't drink or smoke. You don't drink or smoke? Or anything. You, you're not... No. Nope. Are, are you prescribed any kind of medication? Yep. So if you have the legal means for me to do it or you're nice to me and I don't feel like you're uh, being aggressive to me just to do whatever, you know, and yes. impress me because of the ocean rising or whatever you think, Okay. I don't mean harm, but I'm really unhappy where I'm at. Okay, so would you be willing to conduct or to do field sobriety for me tonight, ma'am? With V2K hitting me in the left side of my brain of a stimuli. I'm sorry? The reference V2K is often associated with targeted individuals. It, it, it's where someone believes that they're a subject of organized stalking and harassment by various entities, including governments, corporations, and other groups. Satellite terrorism here in America when you're supposed to govern behavior with citations. As uh -huh. a college student at SPC, student ID too. I don't need to know your student ID. I'm able to operate the vehicle, but I'm hungry. Okay. And you're causing me from eating, and you're supposed to help me out here. Okay. And now you want me to you dropped your, you dropped your fig right newtons. Now that I want, 
Well, maybe that's because your hands go numb when this is one of the signs of V2K. Okay. Would, would you be interested in doing field sobriety if I can have you sitting on a cooler and you don't have to walk, you can just sit what there? What does it entail? And why do I have to do it? Because I'm you show, you're showing know, signs. Okay to drive, then tell me you're, right show, now. you're showing signs of impairment, right? This officer saw you doing some reckless things on the highway that could have got yourself injured. You were going slow on the highway. You could have got hit. You see how fast these cars are going? I only go 35. I know, but look how fast these cars are going, ma'am. Okay? And, and you can't be talking to construction workers are working. I hit. Well, we do. I pulled over because I wanted to eat my cookies, and then he pulled up. My do you mind just taking your hands pocket. off the knife for me that's in your pocket? No. Okay, take because your hands I'm, out of your pocket. If you harass me again, or take I'm your hands you out of your pocket right now. Take your hands out of your pocket. Stop. Stop. She has a knife in her hand. Stop! It's for my protection. Nope. I... Drop it. Drop the knife, Natasha. It's not a knife. It's a corkscrew. It's a corkscrew. I have never used a needle in okay, my life, and I don't use you. drugs, I'm gonna take nor this do off I you. smoke cigarettes, and I vape. Okay, ma'am. <sighs> I'm not a ma'am. I'm a woman. Yes, you got it. Mr. Being used and abused every day for your satellite bullcrap. You're under You're arrest. You're lucky I didn't do something like myself. You're under arrest right now. For what? What am I under arrest for? Right now, DUI. Oh. A and, DUI? And resisting. Okay, well, let's do your test. Let's do your sobriety test. Uh, you we're liar. past that. You liar! You lie! I'm not in fear, you fucking liar! Here's the knife, also. That was, is that illegal? Uh, when you're trying to pull a knife out on a police I officer, yes. I was holding it out. I held it in my... That's a lie. I was holding it in You had, you had the blade just open. Just look. Come right up I'm here, ma'am. I'm and abused by all of you. Period. And I do have mental health, so what, but I'm smart, mother freaker. All right, all right. And hey. I was trying to go away from where I'm at to try to find a new place or something. And maybe go to a club, maybe meet somebody. I don't know. I'm helping you, ma'am. This is the last time for all of this. Okay. I'm all right. An innocent woman who doesn't. So this officer back here said that you were driving real slow in the road, right? I was. You were. You can't do that on the highway, right? It's dangerous. I don't want you to get hurt. I've never left the county. Well... <laughs> The reason that we had to get a little physical over there with you is because you had a knife in your hand, right? No, I had my grandpa's pocket knife for I know, protection because... But, but listen, we're police officers. You can't have a knife out with us. That's not a knife. It was a corkscrew. It wasn't opened. I was Go holding ahead. it because you guys... Look at how you were coming up on me. I, I know. I was going to so, join the police academy. I thought you were supposed to have a seven-foot perimeter. No, that's not, that's not real. Or what you told me over told me, he told me he pulled me over because the guy, when I wanted to pull over to eat cookies before I went on the darn interstate. Okay, so listen, Miss, listen real quick, all right? Oh, I know, just relax. You had a pocket knife. You were fighting with us, and you For tried to bite us. I didn't fight you. You had a pocket knife. I didn't try to fight you. Well, you were give growling. Drug test and give me your little blow test, because what you guys did was illegal. It was? It was very illegal. It was not, ma'am, it you was not. You harassed me, and you pulled me over. He told me, and he could tell that I was obviously, he was concerned, and I I'm was... I'm concerned. I have you ever been arrested for drugs? Have you ever been arrested for drugs before? Yes, I have been. What, what kind of drugs? Um, it was Molly, supposedly, but it was before I did it. You just had it with you. I had it with me. Come on. I just got it in okay. front of, you know, this stuff. I don't recall, actually. I really don't recall. I'm just it's being all, honest, I, I don't... I'm I not know, even worried about it. I can't even tell you my charges, and I'm not impaired at all. I know. I am deprived, and I need food. I understand. And I'm not needing to lose more of my life. I get it. For doing nothing, man. I and get it. And being harassed by three men. I get it. When I simply, com I was compliant with you, uh -huh. and I have the right. Well, you you did pull the knife out, remember? I didn't pull it out. I, I was like you, you had your hand on it in your pocket. Because of the fact that, because you were, I told you to please back up. I have that right even as a woman. You should have your seven feet perimeter, period. Well, and it's not against the law to have unfortunately, my seven feet perimeter. That's, unfortunately, that's, unfortunately. You put me in jail, but you broke yeah. your own law. That's not a law, man. And you lost, yes it is. Three okay. and a half inches is the knife. I, in your little pack, your little purse thing that had your vapes in it, yeah. there was a little container with white. That's with my meds. I put my, my daily meds in there. Do you have that little uh, white, that little container with the white Yeah, top? go ahead and test everything in there. I don't do drugs. What is what what is this white powder that's in here? The just, white powder, I'm just being there's curious. No white powder. It's a yellow powder, and I put my Valium and my medicine, my daily meds. 
my Zola, okay. and I put it all in one little pack so I could put it in my mushroom container thingy so I could remember to take it and not have to take the whole minute. I brought all my stuff to leave. Okay. To you, leave and to this go is Tasha, You have the right to, to remain to silent. Home. Do you understand that? No. Anything you say can't will be used against you in the court of law. Seriously. You have the right to an attorney. If Thank you can't you. afford one, we'll be appointed to you Proper before any procedure. questioning if you wish. Yeah. All right. Do you understand that? Yes. If you start answering questions now, you can stop answering at any time. Do you understand your rights? I don't recall at this moment, which I'm not impaired. Okay. Do you understand I what I just I read to you? I don't understand your rights. No, because you just gained up on me. We didn't gain up on you. Gained up on me. You attacked me and pulled no, me over. No, ma'am. All right. Will you talk to me? No, I won't. You don't want because to? Because you... I don't understand you. Oh. All right, ma'am, here. You're going to get in here with Officer Hoppy, okay? And we're going to be on our way to Pinellas County Jail. Okay. All right. And this is our last time, just so you know. Our last time with what? Ever, ever <laughs> harassing this. I don't know. I don't want to meet this again. I'm good. Good. No, you're not good. You're a liar and you hurt a woman. Uh oh. I'm that sorry. didn't break a law. And it told you she's thirsty. Okay. Let's get on in there, ma'am. Come on. We're going to the law jail. Breaker. Come on. We're going. Violate look that way for me real quick. Land. So look you over there. You tell me what way to look? Yeah, look at the moon. Why? I don't want to look at the moon. Okay. Or your 11 false ones with your Illuminati bull crap. I'm not in the Illuminati. I don't like the Illuminati. Uh, yeah. Alright, Mr. Ganged Thompson. Up on it, girl. Hang tight. Oh my gosh, man. Look at the moon. <laughs> hey, I, Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Yeah. Okay. Hi, my name is... Today is my sweet Sabbath Sunday. I don't like Spanish music. It gives me a headache. I think I should write Putin and tell him about me being a real prisoner of war due to Lancaster and his, uh... Me using my solar system. Applying chips in order to have satellites to control birds and make people think things while they're supposed to govern behavior. But really, they're giving them bad thoughts. They're zapping them. They're sitting here using technology and nuking people's brains. Desensitizing women so that they can be, I said, American satellite terrorism here in America. When I'm weak, I'm strong. I have a voice. I have rights. And they broke them. I will never, ever ever pull over for a police officer again. You have a seven foot perimeter. I said, who went to the police academy? Who knows the real law? Seven foot perimeter, when you are being compliant, you are supposed to not respect. I said, yes or no, or I don't recall. Not ask a ton of questions. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm because I'm annoying. <sighs> ha ha, lawbreakers, criminals. I hate Spanish music. Jesus loves me, only me, Holy Spirit, Expantos, Spirito Santos, I said, death upon you. All right, ma'am, Mrs. Santos, you okay? I don't forgive you. It's okay, you don't have to. Okay. We're, we're going to start driving. Yeah. All right, I'll see you in just a few minutes, all right? Okay. Uh, huh? All right, Mr. T I'm going to read you something. My some mouse infected. Well, I'm not a doctor, so. I don't like to make eye contact with me. You, okay, you don't have to make eye contact with me. Okay. I am. Natasha. Okay. Natasha, look at me. No, Let's be adults I'm here. I'm not looking at you in the okay. eye. You are a lawbreaker. Okay. Do you want to give a urine test? Yes or no? You know what? I'm going to pee in a cup because I'm not a lawbreaker. I'm a compliant citizen here. Okay, you would like to do that? Yes. I need okay. um, somebody to guide my blind stick because I don't want to look at the man that broke the law. You haven't even seen him a day in your life. I know that, but you know what? I said, you broke your law, man. You gained up on me. I ain't speaking no more because I don't want anybody to hey, see any cameras on y'all. You are some lawbreaker criminals. Who cares about drugs, lawbreaker? Criminal. I'm innocence. I am my own shepherd, and after this... Can you, uh, again. that Word document, can you just kind of finish? I, I was it, just typing, utilize um, it, give it to you, any terrorists, whatever, I'm a, not the uh, terrorist. Yeah, I just, said just into a PC thing, including everything, and then we're just going to copy and paste for all the charges. Officer again. All right, ma'am, here, we're going to walk right over here to the corner, so and we have a female deputy that's going to come and help you. I don't care if it's a female or male, I'm not ever doing it again. 
Okay, well, I hope you don't do that again. Here, just stand right here. We got a deputy who's going to come and hang out with you. I didn't feel anything. And what was done tonight, I said, you broke your process, you failed. Well, the procedure, there, I ain't pressing nothing. I said, the camera's off, dude. <laughs> I mean, literally. He just wants to know what happened. I don't care what you do. I said, you failed the process, man. I don't care about your charges. You just made me not ever stop for a cop car ever again. Well, you know that's more charges, right? Listen, I obey the law. Well, not if you don't stop I don't care about charges. You give me charges when I'm innocent anyway, dude. That's what you do. She said that it was time. all right for her to pull a knife out on police officers Listen, also. Because she no, tried no, to... No, no, no. See, you're, you're entitled to your opinion. You have a camera on your chest. So if you're going to sit there and talk like that... Let the observer observe. In the end, the woman was charged with DUI and resisting arrest without violence. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that like button so, so YouTube will recommend more of my content to you. And if you're not already subscribed, please, please do that.